Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, since I ended up tearing the bike apart again, um, I'll show you what that's about here uh, in the next video. Yeah, that's just a real quick, easy mod that I wanted to do. But since I tore the bike apart, and I, I'm gonna wait a little while on doing a shock. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tear the gas tank off of this thing, and I'm gonna try and get this stupid engine cover off on this side. And there's a little one over here. I hate them. I want to see the motor. Um, anybody who's pulled one of these off, I think they will great without it. It just looks bulky uh, and weird. I don't know. I don't like it that much. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's the plan for today. We're going to go ahead. We are going to transfer pump the fuel out of the tank. Of course, I filled the tank up all the way. Um, nice and convenient, so there's four gallons of gas in here, I gotta get out. But, we're gonna transfer pump that out, we're gonna take the tank off, seat off, all that. See if we can get to the little covers. Um, if I can get to them, I'm not taking the stupid subframe off this thing. So, if I can get at least to the bolts and, and turn them with vice grips, or I mean even if I just have to cut the damn bolts, I don't care. Um, I don't want to take the subframe off of this thing and take the exhaust off and yada yada, no freaking way. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully this isn't a giant waste of time, but let's let's see if we can get these things off. Um, see if we can shave up. That one over there on the other side, the bigger one, I'm gonna guess this might be almost a pound too. It's kind of thick, so uh, we'll see if we shave any weight. whoop de do one pound, but I mean, we're at, 29.9 pounds now so if we can shave another pound pound and a half we're 31 pounds so that'd be pretty cool so let's go ahead let's start tearing it apart actually i lied let's go ahead transfer all the fuel out i think i got it all finally i got nothing left Trying to fish it into near even more of it. Nothing. Oh my god. Jeez. All right, guys. So we got the tank empty uh, after seven billion trillion in a gazillion turns and a five gallon gas tank that is now like a quarter inch away from flowing out of the freaking filler. Uh, we got it empty. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're gonna take the seat off. We'll start taking the bracket off of the tank and uh, let's try and lift the tank off and hope and pray to God that that engine cover, those two engine covers come off real easy in there. All right guys, that few, those two fuel lines are disconnected, the little I think this is a ground or something or whatever. That's disconnected. Last thing to do, obviously other than all the bolts are out. It's just this main fuel line right here. We'll go ahead and rip this thing off. Ay -ay -ay. All right guys, great success. Looks like one here, there, and there. I don't think I see anything the rest of the way around. And I think, boom, one, two, three, it looks like. So sweet, we'll be able to get those out with the tank off. That's awesome, I don't have to take the subframe off. Should be no big deal from here. Just gonna put the tank back on basically after this. So yeah, cool. All right guys, after quite a while of wrenching on these machine screws, I think we got one. Oh my God. This sucks, guys. This is terrible. How's it look? Yeah, buddy. That's better. And that's not even the good side. Yeah, that looks way better. I like that a lot more. What do you guys think? It's look better emptied out like that. I'll put it back together and we'll find out. But I like it. I like seeing the motor, so. All right, let's do the other side. All right, guys, I got the bike turned around for you. That way you can actually, you know, see it. So let's go ahead. I almost got this last bolt done here. This sucks though, guys. 
I made the mistake. I had obviously had the bike apart completely for putting the exhaust on it, had I known way back then that I would have done this. But you live and you learn. On the R, I'll do it. I'll just, when I tear the bike apart, put the exhaust on the R. All right, guys, so here's where getting this off gets creative. I don't care. So what I'm gonna do, each one of these tabs where all the bolts went, one down there, one right there, one up here. I'm just cutting that crap off. That's what's holding it up because it's obviously you gotta sneak through. Sorry, I'm too zoomed in for you. It's gotta sneak through the subframe and the motor. You don't really have a gap. So I'm just gonna cut off whatever. I'm not gonna screw around because this cover is never going back on and if I sell this bike, I'm not putting myself through tearing the bike apart just to put these stupid covers on. So let's go ahead, let's chop those up a little bit and uh, should be able to get that thing off after that. It's, it's free, so you just gotta get a little creative. I don't care how we got there, I win. All right, well, after a freaking minute of literally chopping that dumb cover apart, I could give a I'm sorry, I'll bleep that out. I could give a crap. So much better. God, I hated that stupid thing. It just looks so dumb. So did this one, and now it's not there. So there we go. Um, all right, let's, uh... let's go ahead, let's weigh it up and for the hell of it, and see if we lost any weight. We'll go ahead and tear that up. There's some screws. Here is all the chopping debris. And here's the two covers. Half a pound in the name of performance. Let's go. All right guys, well that basically wraps up tearing apart the V4 and putting, or I'm sorry, not putting on, but taking off the engine covers on both sides of the bike. Um, this one comes off without having to do much of a fuss. Um, this side over here is a whole nother animal. I don't do what I did if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, I'm not saying the way I did it was the right way. I'm just not. I am not taking off the subframe on this thing. Um, and I really could care less about that cover. So I carefully basically cut it up, cut the corner off um, because you're not getting that off because basically what it does is the lip on the inside of the cover will not go between the subframe and the valve cover. Um, this side, there's lots of room to play around, but and just so you guys know, the bolts that go on here, here, there, and then the three in here. One, two, the other one's up there, three. Um, they are very, very tight. Be very careful. Um, you know, my Allen was bending, probably deflecting three quarter inch, um, and it's only a two mil, so it's, it's very small, um, or it's two or two and a half mil. Um, so very, very small, you know, be very careful, break it loose slowly. Don't be an idiot and chop up against the valve cover if you don't feel comfortable doing it. Again, kind of a butcher job. I could just care less. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you guys like the way it looks. I love the way it looks without them things on there. I think it looks so much better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing it back together. Um, and I got a whole other video I'm about to work on right now involving that sneak peek. So anyway, yep, thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back together.